Hello again. Um, a short film today. Uh, it's going to be on a review, basically, on a tea bar. But it'll also be a, a little bit just to show how one works, because um, honestly, a lot of people don't know how, how to use a tea bar, and quite frankly, I wouldn't go uh, fishing on my boat without one, because they make life so much easier just to release fish at the side of the boat. And um, things like congas in particular, rays, you know, half the time that you just want them in the water, hook out onto the uh, onto the next fish right so start at the beginning I suppose the tea bar itself this particular one is from a company called uh, Blake's and Taylor's and uh, I believe they've got a, an offshoot called Seashore um, that make quite a lot of boat uh, fix and fittings uh, 316 ones uh, good ones actually I've got a couple of bits on my boat latches and things um, but this is, uh, I believe they're branched out making these T-bars now. So this is just a, a normal um, basic one with a, the single hook. Uh, 316 stainless and very strong. That is a real thick piece of bar there. They're not all like that. Um, as I say, it's the, the pull disgorger. And I'll show you that, how that works in a moment. The hook part of it there has, has been uh, beveled nicely so there's no sharp edges. Quite important there's no sharp edges because when you're trying to get a fish off you don't want the line to catch on that and if a fish is shaking you don't want the line breaking and leaving that hook in the fish you don't want that so that's quite important um the handle i really like good big handle nice grip on it like that when you're you're trying to pull the hook out of a, a, a big fish you want a nice grip uh, on that point the bar goes right the way through the handle when it's welded top and bottom meaning it's super strong. I think these have been pull tested to uh, a ton or, or something, you know, and, and you're not gonna break it. Uh, the only way this goes, I think, is if you drop it overboard and lose it, you know, it's a, a strong bit of kit. Um, and I like it, I've used it for a couple of months now. Does what it says on the tin. There's nothing to, you know, uh, not to like about it, other than, and I said I'd be honest, the only two things I'd change, I'd like that, uh, half the length again I'd like that bar a little bit longer and I'd also like another hook there I'll show you on a cheaper tea bar this is just a, a sort of one for smaller fish cheaper one but it does have that attachment on it which makes it a push pull tea bar and like I say this is just it's got sharp just cut that there sharp edge sharp edge not ideal um, that's not welded in, it's a cheap tea bar, but it has got that feature, is what I'm showing it just for smaller fish anyway. <clears throat> so if it had that there, and it was half the length, that would be the perfect tea bar for me, to be fair. So how do they work? Right, a little example then. So we've got a hook tied off there to a piece of line. I'm just going to use a squid jig to act like the fish. So say the fish is uh, is hooked, like so. So how do you use a T-bar? Like all ideas like this, it's simple but effective. All I will say is I'm right-handed, so I'm so fed up with the amount of times I've took a wrap of the line and it's dug in there and cut me. And that line on the next, when trying to T-bar the next fish off, it always, almost always finds that cut and, and digs into it. I've done it, I've lost count of how many times I've done it. It's really annoying. You get home of an evening, it's sore, you've got a cut of deep splits in there through the mono. I'm not doing it anymore. I carry a left hand glove, like an old welding glove, because this is how you tee bar a fish off. You take, you put your glove on, you take a wind of the line. There's the fish. Hopefully bigger than that, you know, but anyway. You then take the tee bar you find, you you can put it around the line like that, you find the bend of the hook, and then it's just a case of, you lift the T-bar up and you pull the line down, like so, and that's what happens. More often than not, the weight of the fish will pop the hook out. If not, you might have to shake it a few times, which is why I wear the glove, because I don't want that cutting me. But that's it, basically. It's very, very simple. That's how you use that. The only other thing I say, if it had the push um, part of that on that T-bar, it would be perfect because using the cheaper one, 
if you sometimes you don't want to pull the hook out, it could be a big fish, too heavy. If you can see that hook, often you can take that push part of the T bar and pop the hook out like so. So, on reflection, Blakes and Taylors on Seashore, you can look them up online. Um, the guy actually who's involved in this will do bespoke ones, so he will make your longer ones, he will put that on. And I think they're in the process of actually making a few like that. So, yeah, honest review. It's a really good bit of kit. I don't go to sea without a tea bar. And it does what it says on the tin. Nice thing. Before I go, I will mention one thing. Because I've got the hook in front of me. When I'm fishing for sharks, so that could be uh, blues, pool beagles, threshers, but also taupe and uh, spur dog, for that matter. Smooth hands as well, often. I'll crush the barb down and people will say well you know why would you do that you more chance of the fish throwing the hook well not in my experience and I've, I've pulled on enough sharks now to know if you play the, the fish properly in other words you know with tension don't let the slack line then really it shouldn't come out the fish can still shake its head but it shouldn't so when you give it slack line they can often throw the hook so Whilst you might say, well, the barb out helps keep the hook in the fish, also, it makes a bigger hole when it goes in. So there's more chance of throwing that hook out through the bigger hole. With a barb crushed, it makes a neater, smaller hole. So, you know, to my mind, swings and roundabouts. But what's more important to me is that when I've got that fish at the side of the boat, if it has got a crushed barb, it makes it so much easier to pop that hook out. So that's why I crush barbs down when I'm fishing for shark species. So right, there you go. I'll put a couple of clips on just to show how a T-bar works in uh, in action. And um, yeah, as I say, short and sweet. Hopefully it's given some people a, 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 just an idea of how a T-bar works. And, uh, and there's if you want to buy one, try that company, they're making some good ones. And uh, I have to say, they're not really uh, expected Mr. Bullas, lovely hooked. Not as big as the first few, but they're still nice, handsome fish. Well up there, look, they're in the jaw. As you can see, my trace there is a short bit of wire. Now, I don't know why people don't like using a short biting trace of wire. I, I like it, 100 pound wire. Um, I think it's ideal. Crush the barbs down, and hopefully, what you'll see is this fish come off a piece of cake. So. A little bit like that.